here we go another off season where we have to look for another safety it's crazy there's three years in a row we gotta look for another safety but before we get into that part um real fast i like this just literally just slipped over right over my head like i totally wasn't even thinking about it like we're hitting that two, we had just hit that two-year anniversary i'm not even gonna lie to you it was an extremely disappointment because those that y'all were here last year i was like yo we about to do big things this year we about to i'm gonna try at least get at least another 2,000 subs we are going to get at least 2,000 subs because it's not just my channel it is our channel as miami dolphins fans any 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 nfl fans in general any sports fans in general like i like i tried i did a whole bunch of different things this year it wasn't exactly working i was just doing whatever the hell i wanted like literally uh you know what let's do a let's play this oh no let's let's talk about this let's talk about that let's talk about this but like after the last couple of months of 2016 i literally realized like it's just gonna be a miami dolphins channel it's literally gonna be a miami dolphins channel that's what all the people prefer to specifically talk about it's going to be a miami dolphins channel and then of course like y'all yeah, know that we do a little bit of streaming from time to time but the streaming i don't know what's going on with youtube youtube has been acting really retarded like it won't even let me stream like when i press stream it'll say it's it's going but then when i go on youtube and i look it says I'm offline and then like after I stop streaming it'll come up later but it'll still upload nitpits of what happened during the stream not only that like I don't know what happened with YouTube but the last update or whatever but this whole time it's saying I got 2,000 subscribers it really guy says I got 2,000 subscribers I don't know what's going on with that thing for real but the new update I'm not I'm not feeling it I'm really not feeling it but I really appreciate all you guys coming coming in and supporting the channel. My day ones, love those guys. Uh, wouldn't have got here without you guys. Also, the comments. Like, I, tr I be looking at the comments. I do be looking at the comments. Like, it just got extremely brutal the last video I posted. And that was my, my screw up. I edited it a certain way. And, like, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. But like when i be when i be looking at the comments it'd be like everybody be commenting on one person's feed and then like when i comment on that person's feed to a specific person's comment it'll go to the bottom of the feed and no, everybody doesn't know what i'm talking about but just so everybody knows that i do be seeing y'all comments and i be trying to comment on it but y'all don't know who i'm talking to like it, it's just so unorganized so youtube needs to sit back and literally look take a look at them like it's not it's not working out too well it's really not looking out too well but um topic of the day isa abdul kadus um almost as his career is in jeopardy neck and shoulder soldier and i said shoulder neck and shoulder injury um it's not looking too good uh we go us going into the 2017 season obviously you know rashad jones is recovering from a torn rotator cuff we don't know where Rashad Jones will be at the beginning of the season, honestly, but Rashad Jones is versatile enough to play free safety and strong safety. I don't know what it is about us getting safeties from the Detroit Lions. We always, they never pan out. For example, Louis, uh, Louis Delmas, two back-to-back -back seasons tore his ACL. Whereas I don't even know what he's doing now, but back two back-to-back -back seasons tore his ACL. But Rashad Jones is versatile enough to play both free safety and strong safety. Um, so when he decide, when he comes back healthy, I have I have no concern with Rashad Jones because that man is gonna be playing like a savage. I won't be like again, I won't be surprised if he had over 200 tackles. Lily. Won't be surprised if he had over 200 tackles. Uh, but looking at our replacements right now on the squad. We got Bakari Rambo, Walt Akins, and Michael Thomas. Now, Bakari Rambo, I'll give Bakari Rambo a pass about how he played this season. Like, even though I thought he played, he played decent considering how he came and became in the middle of the season. Like, literally, he was about to, he was applying for a car salesman job when the Miami Dolphins gave him that call. So he missed out on a whole a whole off season of training camp and OTA. So you gotta you gotta give Bakari Rambo a slide. Like honestly, he has the potential to be a great safety. Great, like literally, he just has to stay disciplined. He always want to come down and murder somebody. He just gotta know sometimes. Like he just gotta stay disciplined. And like I literally, I think Bakari Rambo he would be an excellent fit right next to Rashad Jones if Issa Abdul Kadus does not return as the Miami Dolphins starting free safety. Even though I love I loved how Issa Abdul Kadus played this season. But the next up, we got Walt Akins. I love me, I love me some Walt Akins. I ain't gonna lie. When Rashad Jones was gone for 
was it two or three years ago he was gone for was it he violated substance abuse policy um wald aikens started with lewis delmos wald aikens did okay he just cannot tackle like i just don't I just don't get it with Walt Akins, but he's a great special teams player. Uh, returned to, well, blocked the punt against the Jets and returned it for a touchdown. So I like Walt Akins as a special team player. Michael Thomas as well, extremely versatile. I just he just needs better awareness, just literally better awareness. I like I like his versatility. Him playing as a slot nickel corner safety, both safety positions, like just excellent. His contribution to the Miami Dolphins, very very great resume, very great resume, but. When you look at it, eh, I, I I would prefer to stay in house. My best bet would probably be Bakari Rambo. Just give him a full a, a full off season of OTAs and off to go. Start right next to Rashad Jones if Issa Abdul Kadus is not ready to roll. Let me know what you guys think. You know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One Devore. I'm up out of here.